Hi Janus. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part A, the same topic. From there we are going to continue with the innings 8.3. We already done some questions in the previous one. We can we can have a look at the previous video. So this is the question given. So now this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So from the left hand side you can see because this is a plus sign in between. So you can see the denominators are different. So what you have to do, you have to take the LCM. So LCM of 2 and 3, that is going to be 6. So this should be multiplied by 3. So since this is multiplied by 3, the denominator, this also should be multiplied by 3. Either you write 3 here or 3 here, both is the same. This should be multiplied by 2. So this also should be multiplied by 2. Again the same, you write 2 here or 2 here, both is the same. So I have written it at the start. To avoid the confusion and is equal to the right hand side let us keep as it is so this will be 2 into 3 so 3 is here 3 into 2 so 2 is here so now we are going to expand this one this into this this into this one so this is going to be 9x and this is uh, this is going to be sorry uh, this will be 9x and this is going to be 3 plus 3 then this will be 4x and this is going to be plus 10. So this is written over here. And the denominator is 6. So we can write it only once you can write 6. This is equal to 26. So now we will bring the like terms together. 9x plus 4x. That is going to be 13x. Then we will take this constant. Which is without a variable. That is going to be a constant. This will be 13. This, this is here. And this 6 can be taken on the right hand side. So this will get multiplied. Because this is divided. So it will get multiplied. So 26 into 6. So now this, let us write same, 26 into 6, that will be 156. So 13x is here, 156 is here, plus 13 will go here, so that is going to be minus 13. So 13x is, will be, when you subtract this, that will be 143. So x is going to be 143, this is multiplication, so this is going to get divided. So when you divide this 143 by 13, so 13 ones are 13, and again 13 ones are 13. So, the quotient is 11. So, x is 11. So, now we have to check it. So, to check what will you do? You will take the left hand side. The same is written over here. And in place of this x, you are going to put the value as 11. So, now see here. This is written over here. Rest everything is the same. So, 33 plus 1. And here will be 22 plus 5. So, it's here. Divided by 2. And this will be 3. Divided by 2 and by 3. So this is going to be 34 by 2 and this will be 27 by 3. So now see here, this is going to be 17 plus here, this is going to be 9. This is divisible by So 17 plus 9. The other way what we can do here for this step is we will take the LCM here. But that is going to be a long step. That LCM is going to be 6. But I will just show you. This was easily divisible, so I did by this way. Or you can also take the LCM, what we did in the previous one. Like, you will multiply by this one. And so now see here, this will be 12. And here, this will be 102 plus 54 divided by 6. So 102 plus this will be 156 by 6. So this will be 156 by this 6 is going to be 6 twos are 12 and this is 36 so 6 6 are 36 so did you get the answer as 26 here? both ways you can do it and so it was easily here it was divisible so i did it the other way so you can also take by taking the lcm so this is what is 26 is the right hand side and which is the rhs so it is very good so now let us look at here, there is a minus and plus sign in between. So now this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So left hand side, what will be the LCM of this one? 3, 9, 6. So it will be, first you have to always start with 2. 2, 3 are 6 and this will be not divisible by 2. So we will write as it is. Then this is not divisible by 2 means 3, 1 are, 3, 3 are, again 3, 1 are. So again 3, 1 are and this 1 and 1 will be as it is. So now you have got 1, 1, 1. So, 3 3 is a 9, 9 is a 18. So, 18 is the LCM. So, here you need 6 extra. So, this also 6. Here you need 2 extra. Here also 2. 
Your unit 3 1 because that is 18, so you have also 3. So this is what is written here. And the right hand side as it is. So this will be 6a minus 4a plus 15a divided by 18. So this is the same. So when you solve this part, so that is going to be 17a divided by 18 is equal to same. So now what will you do? You are going to cross multiply this one. This will go here. This will go here. So 17a into 9 is equal to 18 into 34. So 17a, this the same. This is multiplication, so this is going to get divided. So 9 ones are 9 twos are. So 17a is what? 68. A is going to be 68 divided by because this is multiplication, that is divided by 17. So 17 ones are 17 fours are the value of a is 4. So this a value of this one we are going to put in this equation because we have to check this is the left hand side so this is written the left hand side so in this wherever you see a you will put the value as 4 so that will be 4 by 3 here will be 2 into 4 5 into 4 so that is here what is written in this step so same this will be 8 by 9 this will be 20 by 6 so now again what will you do you will take the lcm lcm is 18 so you will take here 3 6 are 6 9 twos are here also 2 here's 3 is also here also 3 that is this step so it will be 24 minus 16 plus 60 so this is here divided by 18 and when you solve this one you get 68 68 divided by 18 so 68 divided by 18 this also should be divided by 2. This also should be divided by 2. That is going to be 34 by 9. So the this is 34 by 9. And this 34 by 9 is the RHS. So that is verified. Now here they said, now see here, just concentrate on this one because this is a word problem. The denominator of a rational number is 3 less than the numerator. If the numerator is double, and the denominator is increased by 15, the new num number obtained is 4 by 5 and you have to find the original rational number. So whenever you have the word problem, first you will read the whole equation and then you will take one sentence at a time. So now look at here, from here to here, the denominator rational number is 3 less than the numerator. So whatever this the numerator will be, see the, so the denominator, suppose we are considering is x, so the numerator will be x plus 3. So because the denominator is 3 less than the numerator. So x, if it is, this is x plus 3. So this is going to be the denominator is going to be x. So hope the first sentence is clear to you. Denominator is a 3 less than the numerator. So now look at the second sentence. If the numerator is doubled and the denominator is increased by 15. First now let us take this part. So, we consider the numerator as x plus 3. When it is double means 2 into x plus 3. And the denominator, what did they say? Numerator is double and the denominator is increased by 15. Means increase means you are, you are going to add it. So, what was the denominator? This is x. The denominator was x. So, that will be x plus 15. So, I think this also is clear to you. So, now let us go for the next one. The new number obtained is 4 by 5. So now let us see if the numerator is double and the denominator is increased by 15 the new number is obtained the new number obtained is 4 by 5 so these are the changes so 2 into x plus 3 divided by this one because numerator always in here and the denominator here because this is the numerator and this is the denominator and that is given as the ratio is given as this is given as 4 by 5 so now let us solve this one, 2x plus 6, is this the same, again this is the same. So now what will you do, you are going to cross multiply. So 5 into 2x plus 6 is equal to 4 into x plus 15, so 4 into x plus 15. So now let us expand this part. So this is going to be 10x plus 30 is equal to 4x plus 60, so this is here. So now let us bring x on one side. So this is going to be 10x as it is, this will be minus 4x, this as it is, and plus 13 will go on the other side, that is going to be minus 13. So now this will be 6x, this is going to be 30, 
so x will be 30 by this will be 6 so 6 on the 6 5 so x is 5 so now what did i say find the original rational number so original was this part so what will you get here the numerator is x plus 3 and the denominator is x so what will you write here the numerator is x plus 3 means x you got as 5 so y plus 3 means 8 and the denominator is x that is 5 so original rational number means always the numerator here and the denominator here so don't make a mistake by writing 5 by 8 so be careful with such problems so that will be 8 by 5 the ratio of the ages of Ram and Rahim two years ago, see here means two years back, was two is to three. Four years from now, the ratio of the ages will be means after four years from now means after four, four years, the ratio of the ages will be three by four. And you have to find the present ages. So this is ago and after four years. So let the age of Ram of this one, Ram, two years ago be. This is 2s to 3 means you will write it 2x. And age of Rahim 2 years ago, that is here 2s to 3 means this is Rahim, Ram, and this is Rahim. So that is going to be 3x. So now what did you say? Uh, look at the second sentence. 4 years from now. So 4 years from now means Ram's age will be 4. This is 2 years ago. So 4 years from now. So the present is age is going to be 2x because here before 2, two years means that was 2x if the present age means 2x plus 2 and 4 years from now means you are going to add 4 to it hope you got it this is the present one 2x plus 2 because 2 2 years ago was 2 so present age i'll write here present age will be 2x plus 2 and 4 years plus now means you are going to add 4 in it so that is going to be plus 6 hope you got it this was for ago 2 years ago so that was 2x so 2x plus 2 plus 4, that is going to be 6 years. Same for Rahim. Now, this was 2 years ago. So now, 3x. So the present age means you will add 2 to it. And 4 years later means that is going to be plus 4. So that is going to be 3x plus 6. So hope this part is clear to you. So now the ratio of the ages is 3 is to 4. So now what will you write here? 2x plus 6. Divided by this one, 3x, this will be 3 is to 4 means 3 by 4. So now you are going to cross multiply this one. So 4 into 2x plus 6 is equal to 3 into 3x plus 6. So this will be 8x plus 24, 9x plus 18. So this is the step. So now bring this x on this side. So 8x is already here, minus 9x. This is going to be 18 plus 24 is going to be minus 24. So in the minus 9 plus 8 is going to be minus 1. So minus 1, usually we don't write 1. So that will be minus x. And this will be minus 24 plus 18 is going to be minus 6. So both the places you see minus, that means that will get cut off. Or you can also write here because this is 1. So minus 6 divided by minus 1. So you know when it is division, minus divided by minus is going to be plus. So that will be x is 6 years. So now what did they say? Find the present ages. The present ages will be what? As I told you, that is not 2x, but that is because this was two years ago. So the present age, you can make a separate column if you want, that is 2x plus 2. Or for the this one, that is for Ram. And for the heel will be 3x plus 2. So that will be right here. So that is 2x plus 2 for Ram. That will be in place of x, we'll write here 6. That will be 12 plus 2, that will be 14. And for the hints is 3x plus 2. In place of x, we are going to put here this 6. So that will be 18 plus 2. So 3, 6, 18 plus 2, that is 20. So this is what they have asked. This is the present age.